Legislature just as recently as 2020, 323 times. Now they hate the filibuster. Isn't that funny? It's funny when, when the shoe's on the other foot, they kick and scream. Oh my gosh, it's the worst thing in the world, even though they are the most egregious users of it. So now that it has gone to the Senate, you're like, okay, the bill goes to the Senate, what happens? Chuck Schumer's got problems. In order to pass this, he's got to blow up the filibuster. Does he have the votes? No. He does not have the votes in the Senate. And it is now our job to make sure he never gets the votes. So you're asking me, what can we do? Is all lost? No, all is not lost. Are we pissed off? Yes, but all is not lost. What this means now is that we have to get on the phones. We need to go to Senate.gov. Look up your senators. These are your senators in Washington. We're not talking about our state capitals, not your state senators. Do not call your congressmen or women, call your state senators. It doesn't matter if you're in Montana or Florida or in New York or in Texas. Every state has two senators. So that means you have two phone calls to make. You get to call your senators and you get to tell them that one, you want the filibuster to stay in place. Two, you want them to vote no on the so-called Voting Rights Act. It's not a Voting Rights Act, it's a voting free vote. That's what this bill is. So, that is the marching orders here. Call your senators and tell them in their Washington DC offices that you do not want them to support the so-called Voting Rights Act. When you call them, you give them your name, you give them your phone number, you tell them you're a resident of the state, whatever state you're in. You tell them you want a response because it's very important to tell your representatives that you want a response. If you don't tell them explicitly, I want a response, they're never gonna respond to you. So give them a way to communicate back to you, be it a phone number, be it an email, an address for snail mail, doesn't matter. But the important thing is, is that you go to Senate.gov, you look up who your senators are, you call their Washington DC offices, and you tell them absolutely hell no, we do not want this bill. We want our constitutional, constitutional elections as our founding fathers envisioned them with the states determining the time and manner and place in which they're conducted. That is what we have to do. So that is what is up right now, guys. That is what is happening in Washington. This literally just happened. You're probably gonna see a ton of stuff in the news about inflation and everything that's going on. But the important thing that is happening here is an attempt to take over our elections, which if we do that, we will never win another election. So it's important that we get involved, we get engaged. We cannot lose hope. We can never lose hope. That is very, very important. We have got 